medical Tampa company is on the cutting edge of cancer treatment, announcing that a USDA-sanctioned trial for a promising equine cancer vaccine is now underway. And they say human trials are not far behind. We're taking action for your health tonight with proof of what this vaccine is doing and how it one day may help someone you love. This is Benny the horse, skinny and sick with melanoma. This is Benny today, and the researchers here at Tampa's Morphogenesis say they've developed a cancer vaccine that not only saved his life, but may prolong it indefinitely without causing negative side effects. The vaccine is called ImmuneFX. The way it works is we are educating the immune system. So we're putting something into the tumor cells that tells the body this is foreign. Um, therefore, it's specific. It goes to those tumor cells, attacks them, and leaves other cells um, unaffected. We've treated over uh, 20 different types of cancer now in cats, dogs, and horses. And uh, we've treated over, I think it's about 60 different breeds of animals as well. ImmuneFX is being used right now in a USDA-sanctioned clinical trial involving horses with melanoma. Expected to last a year, the goal is to show the safety of the vaccine in horses like Isabeau. Um, who had a perianal mass and melanoma on her tail. So Benny, we saw some lesions on the side. Um, however, you know, it can be in that perianal area as well. So she received our vaccine as well. Um, her tumors are shrinking and again coming to a manageable point where it's stable. While a successful trial will allow Morphogenesis to obtain a license from the USDA to sell the injectable form of ImmuneFX to vets, there are human implications too. So we're going forward with our first human trial, which is using the personalized form of the vaccine. But ultimately, what we hope this equine melanoma trial will show us and translate into human is that you walk into your dermatologist's office and he says, okay, here's your melanoma treatment. The human trials are expected to start next year and will include patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We'll keep you posted on both trials. Excellent.